Aloha boys and girls, it's Aloha Friday, April 17th. On Fridays, as always, you get to have choice in your family challenge. I'm linking a choice board above and there are four choices. Just pick one and post it to your dojo portfolio. So one of your choices is you can make your own music video today. So you can watch a Go Noodle video called Never Eat Soggy Waffles. And using that song, you can create your own dance video and post that to dojo. Another choice is you can go on a virtual land or sea adventure with your parents. You might need flash player for that. So for some of you, that might not be an option. Um, there's also another option of going on to a Disneyland virtual tour. And after that, you can write about your favorite attraction that you saw. And the last choice today is you can click the link to story online and read us. Listen to a story called how I learned geography. When you're done reading that story, you're gonna dream up your perfect town. What would your perfect town have? What kinds of places? What kinds of locations? And when you're done dreaming up your perfect town, you can make a map of it and try to include some of the map features that we've been learning about, like a compass rose or map key. All right. So that's your family challenge. Just pick one of those activities. For ELA, you are going to read a story in your map in your packet called Too Much of a Good Thing. Okay? It's a futuristic story about a family living on a spaceship. Then you're gonna answer questions on page 57, 58, and finally 59. Okay? On page on page 59, you have to go back to the text and include some text evidence when answering this question. All right. Um, if you did not publish your final, your final draft on published paper or nice clean paper that you have, you need to do that today. Okay, so that's also an assignment. And then lastly, you are going to complete your math assignment. And I'm going to model for you um, today's math strategy. So it is on page 25. Okay, your um, math concept this morning is adding four two digit numbers together. Okay, so let me get this place here. Okay, so second graders are supposed to be able to add up, add up to four two digit numbers together. Okay, so the first one here says 29 plus 34 plus 21 plus 36. The great thing that we can do is that we can rearrange the order. We don't have to keep it this way. Okay, and so the strategy I want you guys to use today is finding friendly pairs using your mate time strategy. So if you take a look at the ones place, do you notice a, num a number set that I can combine together that would make a 10? Okay, I see a nine here and I see a one here. And I know that nine ones plus one, one equals 10 ones. And so right there is a friendly pair. So I'm gonna choose to add those two numbers together first, okay? Let me show you how I will do that. Okay, so 29 plus 21. Okay, so I have two tens and two tens here. So I know that's four tens. And then I have nine and one, which makes another 10. So 40 plus 10 is 50. Okay. Next, I'm going to add what's I, what I have left, which is these two numbers here. And the great thing about this pair of numbers is it's also a make 10. Notice there's a four in the ones place and a six in the ones place. Four plus six is 10. So I have a new 10 here. And I also have my three tens and my three tens. So three tens plus three tens is six tens plus my new 10 is seven, seven tens. And so that's 70. Okay, and so from there I can do 50 plus 70. So 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Okay. And that's my answer. When you are doing your worksheet, you're going to come across some problems like number seven. Number seven is a bit more trickier because the friendly pair is not as obvious, okay? So let me show you why. Hmm. I have two ones, three ones, nine ones, and five ones. And none of those combinations makes a 10. But let me show you something you can do, okay? So I have 
two ones and five ones here. And I know that two ones and five ones equals five. So if I add these two together first, this becomes three tens plus one ten is four tens. Two ones plus three ones is five ones. Now I have 45. And if I continue my problem, I now have discovered that I do have a friendly pair available. I have five and five. And what does five plus five equal? It equals 10. And so now I can add these two together, okay? So I have five plus five is one 10. I have to keep that in my mind. I have four tens and three tens, which is seven tens, plus my new 10, which is eight. 8 tens, which is 80, okay? And then, so the last thing I'm going to do is add the other number that I haven't added yet. So now I have 80 plus 29. So I have 80 plus 20. I know 80 plus 20 is 100. And then add 9, okay? And so my answer is 109. All right. Okay, and then you're going to have some other problems, like problems 8 and 9, that have that similar strategy that you're going to use, where you're going to have to find um, friendly pairs to make 10, and it might not just involve two sets of numbers, um, but it might involve you adding three together to make your friendly pair, okay? So try that strategy out today when you are doing worksheets and take a picture of it and post it to your Class Dojo account. All right, guys, it's um, Friday, so I will see you all on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye now.